Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to cover highlighting the face. So I already have up to my blusher done and I tend to leave highlighter last because if you do it before contouring or using blusher, either of those products can make it muddy or go over it or like make hide it and essentially make it so that it's not that noticeable. So I do tend to leave it to last. Again, there are a few different type of products you can use. You could use a cream one or a gel or a liquid, like I said, with blusher or powder. I'm going to show again using both cream and powder for this. My favorite cream blusher is Pearl Cream Color Base by MAC. This comes in a few different shades. You can go for like more pinky tones or there's more like, you, there's a very like white tone, which would be perfect for anyone who is like white as a ghost pale, um, you know, very, very, very light. Otherwise I would go for something that has a little bit of a gold base or you could go for like Hush or whatever the other pinky one is by MAC, those kind of ones for say if you're more kind of mid-toned and then for a very dark skin tone you can go for something that has a bit more of like a peach or, or a coppery gold kind of base so it really does depend on your um, depth of skin and colouring and stuff like that. So for now I'm going to first apply the cream highlighter so like I was saying before you always have to apply cream products before you powder or if you know you're going to apply a cream product and you need to powder first, so like you wanted to apply your blush and stuff, just make sure that you know where you're applying the cream product first. So I know that I like to apply my cream products here on the top of my cheekbones. So when I was powdering my face, I don't powder up around this area. Now you can apply a cream over a powder if you're very, very careful and you really know what you're doing, but generally leave it so that there's no powder underneath. So what I'll do is pick up a little bit of the highlighter Again, I like to use my fingers for the cream products just because it'll really help them um, melt into the skin. And then you just lightly bounce it on the area you want to highlight. And you can use then a clean finger just to blend out the edges. I love the effect you get from a cream highlight. It's just so, it's really natural for daytime. But if you're using this for photography, be careful because it really picks up light. Um, you can even see the light bouncing off my mirror in front of me is making it very very shiny so um, it's more kind of for daytime or um, maybe for special occasions but if you're using it for an actual photo shoot or something you might want to go for something that's not quite so a wet look but I do love this um, just for even for everyday use because I wouldn't really be walking around with a spotlight on me during the day and it's a bit more natural so I just bounce it on the top topmost area of my cheekbone this will just help with adding dimension back into my face. So I contoured here, added blush in the center, and then highlight on top. And that really just gives a, you know, a really nice dimension to the face. Other places you can highlight as well at this stage. If you know you're not gonna wear too much makeup, you could just highlight the center of the lid if you wanted to make them stand out a little bit more. And there's no need if you're gonna know you're gonna be applying eyeshadow, but this is just kind of if you're going for more of a natural look. You could apply some of it there underneath the brow. Not too much because you don't want it to be too obvious. And then I'm going to go ahead and show how to use the powder now for the rest of it. But it's essentially the same thing. You can even use your finger for powders as well. But I do, I do like to use my brushes. Um, I'm obsessed with brushes. So when it comes to powder products I do always use my br brushes. One of my favourite highlighters is a Chez Chez Le May, which was a a limited edition one by MAC but there are so many lovely highlight powders out there every brand does them so um, it's not really that important again I do tend to go for like kind of gold shades it's just what I think suits my skin tone best because I am a cool tone which means I have yellow undertones but I'm very very pale so I tend to go for very pale yellow uh, based highlighters I do love to use my contour brush by Real Techniques or um, this one here by Real Techniques which is the setting brush which is a small one as well so it doesn't apply too much to any one area so I'll pick up a little bit again on the brush and then where I like to do it is down just the very center of my nose so because I contoured around the sides of my nose and around the tip I want to be careful not to put highlighter on those areas because I only want to highlight the center so that that center strip is a little bit more obvious and makes it seem like it's coming forward a little bit um, and that the side parts are receding. Now where I also like to highlight is here at my nose bridge because it, my nose bridge is extremely narrow but also if you look from sideways it's very far back in my face compared to say my nose 
and even my um, brow bone is more prominent. So this will just help bring this forward a little bit. It's good as well to highlight in here at the inner corners, either side of my nose bridge. So you can use your finger if you want, or use even a smaller brush like your eyeshadow blending brush. This will help make the your nose bridge seem a little bit less thin. The lighting in here isn't great, so it's not really picking up on the highlight to show how it works perfectly, but it's just to give you an idea. And then, again, you could always just apply this to your top cheekbone. Again, remember that if you're applying anything that has highlight or shimmer or anything like that in it, not to smile because you don't want to create crinkles, that will make um, those wrinkles obvious. Some people like to highlight just above the eyebrows. Again, this depends on your eye shape, so it's up to what you want to make more obvious. And where I always love to highlight is just on my cupid's bow, so I'll just run it lightly along my top lips. This won't be the same for everyone because my own cupid's bow protrudes a lot more than the rest of my lips um, and then the top of it, it naturally catches it. Some people doesn't some people don't have quite a prominent as prominent a outline on their lips. Um, I mean prominent as in sticking out. So you may need to go in with a smaller brush in that case. Um, something like just a little detail brush. Pick up your highlighter on the tip and then literally paint or draw in the shade for the highlight. So it really again depends on your face shape. And that is really all the places that I would apply highlight for anyone who wants a very natural look. Now some people will like to highlight just under here depending on their face shape. If you were to highlight here what you could use is a lighter um, cream foundation or a lighter concealer. You don't always have to use something shimmery or something um, you know that's necessarily just for highlighting. You can use just use lighter concealers and face creams and stuff like that or um, when I say face cream I mean a cream foundation but that'll just make the skin lighter and again it will be quite natural um, but in these kind of areas you don't want shimmer because you don't want it to be that noticeable. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope this was helpful and I will be back for more beauty basic videos over the next few weeks. So thanks a million for watching guys. Salon.